I've had an absolute guts full of this now. It's getting on my nerves. So today's the day I'm gonna start on the poly tunnel. This will be a series of probably about a week. I'm gonna do bit by bit and hopefully by the end of it, it'll be recovered, restaged, all new crossbars and everything inside should be done. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna fit two new doors on, a double door shoe and a single door at the back. Two new crossbars, side rails, staging either side and then eventually we'll be having some raised beds as well by the end of the week, plus a new cover. So I've set out all the poles, the staging, crossbars, side rails, the new door fitments and everything else, and it's like a jigsaw puzzle in there, but we'll get it done, definitely get it done. So there will be a few modifications that I'll be doing myself personally. They're not first tunnel specs, but everything else will be from first tunnels but i'll be changing a few things i'll explain later on so i've had to pop back and get a hacksaw because um i realized that this poly tunnel isn't their normal spec their normal spec is 14 feet and the previous owners which happened to have a first tunnel poly tunnel they decided to make this like 13 feet so i need to cut the crossbars just a little fraction So I popped into the shed and made myself a cup of coffee and I gotta be honest it's absolutely freezing out there today but the problem I've got is I've made this so comfortable now that I never want to leave it so I put too many comforts on the sh you know on the plot the log burners roaring the coffee's nice and warm and I know I still got a few more jobs to do today but so tempted to stay inside here right so enough of the luxuries I think I'm going to carry on. I've got a bit of the path that I need to weed through. There's quite a few docks and dandelions through there. I want to take all those out, finish off doing the path in between the raised bed and the herb garden that I've just made. And I want to put a nice back path down there as well. And I want to put some manure, some bagged manure on the flower bed that I've done just to give it a good bit of feed. And also keep those weeds down as well because I know that's going to be a minefield this you know, this spring, but I'm prepared for that. So I'm going to pop down to the Grapevine Garden because I had an idea last year to do something and it was one of those jobs I just never got around to doing. So I've been inspired by watching two videos of other YouTubers. I'll, I think I'll go get it and then I'll come up here and then I'll show you exactly what I've got planned. So I bought this in the summer last year and it was one of those plans that never got around to it. So it's a sink and I've got the plug with it as well. So I'll give it a good wash out and then we'll take it up to the other plot. So the idea is that I will fit this sink into a new workbench that will go all the way across here. Now, I discovered a YouTube channel. He's a new YouTuber. He is 11 years old, and I tell you what, I'm blown away by how creative he is and how confident he is as a gardener. So I've seen this on his channel, and it's this little fitment here. And all you do is fit this into a water source and then this button on the top gives you running water. So I was well impressed by Freddy for finding this little gadget that will solve my little problem of having some little water, some water. And I can put a tank underneath like so, one underneath full of fresh water. I won't use it for drinking out of, but it'll be handy to wash my hands, wash some vegetables and things like that, and also wash my cutlery and things. The other idea is that I thought, I seen a video that Alan, at Alan's allotment, I'll put a link in the description for Freddy's channel and Alan's, and I highly recommend both their channels, so go take a look, give them a subscription and tell them I've sent you along. 
and give them a little comment, you know, support smaller channels. So, the idea is that I thought, and Alan, oh, Alan is like, I keep calling him the mad scientist because he is definitely one of those. So the idea is I thought is, I'm gonna run some copper piping onto this um, log stove here, and then I will run that into the tank so that the water is not freezing cold. It's got a bit of a, you know, it's got a bit of temperature to it. So that's the plan that I'm gonna do future on. But for now, well done, Freddy, for finding this. And the good thing about it is, is it comes with a charging point here. So when I fit solar panels into this in the next month or so, on the roof, I'll have electricity in your lights, somewhere to charge my phone, somewhere for the radio, and also somewhere where I can keep this charged at all times. I've come over today and it is a jungle over here of a mess. The carnage, let me show you what's been going on this morning. So the woods all arrived and these are for more for the supports of the raised beds that I'm putting in. These are the slats for the staging areas on the top. And then I've also got a pile of these beauties. Nice thick raised beds. So these will do lovely, perfect. So I've got 10 of those and let's not talk about the compost that I've had again. So yeah, the manure is all looking great. And also all the spring bulbs are starting to emerge in this bed. So that's a nice little welcome as well. They're all looking great. The rhubarb is shooting up now. You know, it won't be long before this will be a, this will take up most of this space. So I got some more wood as well from down there. I ordered, so I'm going to fit a raised bed in here, I think to use some of that space up for this year. So it's all going on. I'm gonna empty the poly tunnel now and try and get as much as I can going. I've got a few more days before Tony arrives and we reskin the poly tunnel. Let's just get on. So it's still like a bomb site here of materials and things that I'm using for the poly tunnel today. Oh, I've started digging the trenches out, let me show you. So the trenches need to be about 18 inches deep and a spade width apart. So I've gone down and I'm hitting the plastic here, so I think I know I'm going to the right area. So we've got to go all the way around. This bramble needs to come out as well, except for the doorway, I don't need to do the doorways. So let's get on. So I've just stopped, I've got coffee on hand. I've made myself a bacon and mushroom sandwich on the plot stove. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna carry on with the jobs. Hard life, innit? <laughs> oh, that <laughs> weirdly feels satisfying to do. Woo! I bet you're all biting your teeth now at this. So we seem to have a bit of an issue here because this bramble seems to have rooted right next to the polytunnel. So I'm going to have to try and cut this down as far down as I can and then dig out the remaining root bowl. But what a place to put it, eh? What a place for you to decide to grow. Well, we've got the secateurs out. The sage is now due for a, a good pruning. I mean, you give it back a good cut in now. Cheryl remind me to do this. And as long as you don't go to the new growth, it should come back thicker for the spring. So the trench is all done, ready for Sunday. New cover, as I've mentioned about 50 times. Can you tell I'm excited about having it done? Yes. So I thought I'd do a bit of planting now. I've got some hyacinth that I bought from um, one of the local shops and they, they grow them all themselves, it's like a family run business. So I bought two of those to plant in over here. I think I'm gonna do that now. I feel like I've done a bit of planting then this time round. I think they look absolutely lovely there, so I'm really pleased with those and they'll just look great underneath this tree, underneath the fig tree. 
I feel like with the trench is done, it looks like a moat and I'm walking into the castle. So this place is an absolute mess. Kitchen sink, that's for another future project. My potatoes are chitting away lovely. I pop this over the top. It's just some normal packaging from um, a previous purchase. And yeah, it just keeps them nice and warm in the evenings. Staging, this will all be built in separate staging. There'll be three here. Three trestle tables that can be lifted off when I need to to plant tomatoes at. All the poles are all in now and I've even added some extra ones here to brace it so I can hold on those. Um, they can have some heavy things up on top, like my canes and even maybe some of the trestle tables. God, look at this afterwards. Look at the shreds in this polytunnel. I'll be, I cannot wait to have it recovered. And then huge raid bed down here, huge raid bed down here, and then a small one in the middle with some mesh, I think, going all the way to the ceiling. And then I'll grow all my, maybe even some sweet peas in you. But yeah, it's a mess, absolute mess. It won't take long. As you know, I won't rest until this is finished. So I've still got another week off um, and this will, should be finished by probably Wednesday maximum. And I, I got so many little plans to go on as well. I'm not going to show you because I want to put that into another polytunnel video of recovering it and everything else that I've added on. So yeah, excited. So I've decided in this area here after inspecting the soil is absolutely fantastic soil and it's just really, really good. So what I've decided I'm going to do is this space here, I'm going to plant my um, asparagus. I'm going to have a huge long asparagus bed. The sun comes across here anyway. So I was figured if I put asparagus down here, um, it's still got the heat from the polytunnel. There'll still be some light for it as well. And the sun comes over you as well in the afternoon. So it'll have plenty of sun. It is an absolute war zone here and I think eventually it'll be worth it but for now this mess is killing me. It's everywhere, there's trash everywhere that needs to be got rid of but yeah, frames are up, ready for the cover for tomorrow when Tony pops over but I just want some, I need it to be finished now. It better be worth it. I'm Danny and this is The Great Pine Garden.